Everyday Challenges, Caro here and welcome to day 14. We're nearly halfway there. Now today's video is on Weebly, which is another free blogging platform or free hosting platform. And I have to say these hosting platforms, not that any of them have been difficult, but they seem to be getting easier and easier and easier. So what I'm going to do is take you through, and it shouldn't take too long because it is so user friendly, I'm going to take you through how to set up a Weebly blog and to put in your unique, so this is original content that hasn't been published anywhere before by you, let alone anyone else. So follow me, let's get to it. Bye. Okay then, so here we are at the Weebly site and it's simply www.weebly.com and you can see I've been in there a few times. My computer's actually crashing on me a few times today, so I've had a few attempts at recording this. So what I'll do, what you need to do, since you're most probably more than likely new to Weebly, is just sign up here. I went through this myself because I just set up a new account and it's really simple. They do have a capture, it's actually one that you can read for a change. So I'm just going to pause here and sign up or, or log in and then we'll go to the screen. Okay, so here we are at the Weebly interface. Now from memory, when I actually signed up, I get something a little bit different, like it um, it phases out and you get this um, coming out to you just saying please enter um, title for your first blog. So since I bypassed that, I now get this here. So it's essentially exactly the same. So my main keyword is Australian Mist Cat. That's what I want my site to be called, my theme keyword. So continue. How simple is that? Now, I designs. You have a few to choose from here. I think I am going to go with that one. Looking good. Click here to add more pages. I don't actually want to add more pages right now, but I do want to look at elements. And I'm going to pick this option here. Now you might want that, you might want this. Now it's like it does actually have modules in here that you can drag and drop. So I'm going to let you play around with it yourself. This is what I'm doing right now. Drag and drop. Now I'm going to put a photo in. So upload new image. There we go. And paragraph, click here to edit. So what I'm going to do is simply go to my Google Docs. I'm going to, so this is something that I've written before. This is different to, just sort of typo, different to anything else I've written. It's on the same content. However, it is original. I've written it freehand from, as, as I advised the first time with article writing, looking, reading through everything I knew. And I have just written it and it says a lot of the similar things about, like specifically with this, what breed a cat, how it's made up and so forth. And it is original. So select all, copy, and I went up to the window there and paste. Okay, so let's have a look if I was actually to say, you know, yes, that's what I want. Just like that. So did you see what I did? I go to here and all I have to do is press on that. Now I can actually click here and put another title which I'm going to and it was the Australian, I called this the Australian Mist Cat, my keyword. Um, why um, their biggest fan. I'd said something before about official um, fan site, I've just changed that now. And again, let's have a look. Won't do that. So that's all set. Now, I can then go through. Isn't this easy? And as I've said before, no more than, um, no more than three backlinks. So I want to simply highlight this. Go up to here, which is the link to my website and I want to go my WordPress direct blog open in a new window 
No, I don't want that. Now, this is really personal preference. Um, open a new window, open in place of. There's popular thought about both being, you know, each one possibly being better than the other. I really, because I want them ultimately to go to that page, I want it to replace the Webly site, so that's why I'm not choosing that option. So save. Now I might bold that as well. And I'm going to pause now and do a couple more. So back again, and what I've done is I've just loaded up, I did a link there to my blog. Now you might notice here, I've actually chosen to use one of my category keywords in this. So, and this is something Robert will be introducing to you where you can also look at writing articles on your category keyword, and also in the particular content, you can link to your category keyword, but your focus primarily is on your theme keyword. So pretty much that's it. And all I need to do is publish. In this box here, I'm going to choose a subdomain of Weebly. So funnily enough, and it will tell me that yes, it's available, Australian Miss Cat. And as I've said with other videos, if it's not available, put one, put two. Um, you might use the word now or or info or something like that. But there I've got the main keyword Australian Miss Cat. Weebly.com. Now that's actually going to be my URL for this um, Weebly blog. I don't want to do anything like that. And, and when I type in my URL, there you have it Australian Miss Cat with three, no more than three. Now I can add more modules in there if I want, and this is what I want you to do. I really I know that most of you out there are newbies and I've been there and I think it's really important to because I was terrified of new functionality and, and Robert thankfully would push me to actually give it a go to press some buttons and not be afraid that I was going to self-destruct and it's actually a good way to learn it's by all means do it simply like this and save it and then you can go back in and you can re-edit and add more modules but this right now looks great. So next step is put it into Traffic Bug. So here we have in Traffic Bug, put the URL, leaving the RSS, I've got three new titles, three new descriptions, my three of my keywords. I could be putting in more there if I wanted to. I'm just focusing on these main ones now. I'm going medium, no for RSS, then those two, and then submit. Then the final step, of course, is to go to the wonderful Can Do Anything and Everything tool, Market Samurai, and add URLs. And very simply, I put that, and I'm going to go those three, and just go like that. Well, 30 day challenges, was that simple or was that simple? It really is very simple. As I've said, just have a play around in the Weebly. It's very straightforward. Key point, again, as I said in my video yesterday, your content is original, it is unique, we interchange those words, you have not published that particular content anywhere else, and you put that into the Weebly blog, you then put it through Traffic Bug and Rank Checker, and away you go, and just like we said with, um, with the other hosting platforms, you also have an opportunity to attract traffic to that hosting platform as well as providing an authority link to your main ranking vehicle, your WordPress direct blog. So there you have it. Hope you're having a great time, whatever part of the world you're in, and I will talk to you very soon. See you. Bye.